Brianna Ray from BriIY here to bring you another video. Today we're going to be doing something kind of fun. I really liked this awesome paper laying, paper layering activity that I did, oh, I want to say about a year ago now, maybe longer. Um, but I did this design fully custom where I got it printed out on different, or cut out rather, with my Cricut on different layers and sort of created this three dimensional piece. Um, and I saw someone online sort of create something similar with a portrait of their pet and of course I want a portrait of my pet. So uh, today I'm going to be hopping into my tablet and we are going to create these really cool like reduced color simplistic sort of paper layered portraits of pets. That was the worst explanation ever. Either way, let's get into it. <laughs> So to get everything started, I'm actually going to go online and search up a JPEG color reducer. What this is going to do is I'm going to be able to upload my image and reduce the colors to three. This is going to make it way easier for me to see the differences in the darker tones, the mid-tones, and the highlights. So I have done this with a picture of my cat, and I have saved it to my device so that I can open it in Procreate. You can do this in any program you would like. Uh, I like to use Autodesk Sketchbook, which is an amazing free option. And I'm just going to start outlining these sections based off of the colors that they are. So here I started with some of the dark, and now I'm going into the light. And obviously, you're going to have to make some choices here, um, but just a really a rough idea is what's important here. Um, and you're going to notice pretty quickly as I'm adding in all of these different colors, I'm going to start kind of adding some connecting lines between all of them. Um, this is the important part here because we're going to want to be able to cut these images out on the Cricut or on whatever and have it be one solid piece. So we're going to want to try to keep everything as connected as possible so that we'll be able to keep everything in the appropriate proportions. So like this big gray line that I added in here was not a part of the original picture and I've kind of striped a big white around the back to connect everything together. Now it doesn't all necessarily have to be connected together a hundred percent because there is kind of a layering element to this but getting it as close as possible to being one solid piece as as possible is going to be your friend here later I promise and what I'm doing here is I'm trying to use a really dark black the bright whiter color and the gray here um, and I'm going to test to make sure that everything is all connected by dropping in some colors later so obviously you can see here like my gray eyes are not necessarily connected so here I am connecting them and testing with my red and my bright yellow to see and here I'm seeing that okay well now I notice that my blue is kind of broken up so again I'm trying to just connect as many pieces as I can without you know disrupting the yellow here and then so I'm now I'm dragging all the yellow down and I think I maybe was overthinking it just a little bit um, but in the end I did get it pretty gosh darned close um, and I was able to definitely make it look like my cat even though it's only in three colors now that I have my base done, and I apologize for the quality of this clip, I can't totally figure out why it looks like this, um, but I have made uh, three different duplications of this set of layers here, and I am going to start isolating them one by one. So I'm going to start with the black at the bottom. This is the one that I didn't mind if it didn't connect almost at all, because this is going to be your base layer. So I took the black and just made our background, and now I'm going to isolate the blue and isolate the yellow in two separate layers so that uh, they can be laid on top of the black later. So this is again maybe where I thought I got a little bit ahead of myself. Um, you can see all these different black pieces are separate. That's fine because they're all still a part of one solid layer underneath. Now I'm going to go in with that white again and kind of erase the yellow here. Um, now I, all I have is blue and in order to keep these two pieces connected um, so that I can have one solid piece. I just filled in where I know that the yellow is just going to go on top later. And now taking out all the blue and we have all three separate images which I'm going to export one by one to create as cut images on Cricut. 
Finally, over on Cricut, everything is going to be pretty easy. I'm just going to go to the upload section and upload my layers one at a time, removing the background as best as I can. Um, because I use these high contrast colors against the white, it is going to be pretty easy. I did have a problem where I couldn't scroll down to rename it and save it, so I did have to move my device into the uh, portrait position, so please forgive that as well. Um, but here I am just taking the background out of everything and renaming it so that I can have it saved on my computer after obviously creating this on my tablet. And now that I have all of these sections created, I can insert all of them into a canvas and layer them. I'm actually going to change all of the colors so that they look more like the dark, mid, and light tones, and then start stacking them. I'm going to resize them uh, once I actually get on my computer <laughs> at home to create this design. Um, that way it'll fit on a 12 by 12 sheet since I did kind of fit this within a square and we're going to get to cutting. So let's head over to that right about now. Now that I have all of my pieces cut out, I have just found a nice uh, sheet of paper that I intend to mat it on I suppose um, and I'm going to take just this tacky glue or any PVA Elmer's glue whatever you have and because some of these pieces are very delicate I'm actually going to dip in and brush on the back um, obviously the big piece isn't as dramatic or necessary for that to be done but I'm just going to start by kind of gluing down the edges and kind of work my way um, into some of these more interior pieces He looks so handsome and honestly I'm kind of regretting not just doing this when I originally made it but I wasn't sure how it was you know gonna come out in the end or if I was even gonna like it but I really want to add little whites in of his eyes um, I should have just you know made a little hole in there to be cut out by the Cricut you know for authenticity but again we all make mistakes so I'm just going to add that in here. We might wait for it to dry and add another layer, but yeah, I like that. Just a little, just a little extra detail there. Um, I actually really like this project. I think it turned out really great. I'm going to kind of zoom out and show you, show you the finished deal. So I obviously haven't addressed why I actually went with the green color palette, and it's because I think that I'm going to hang this up in the green room. Uh, this is our guest room that we have, and we have this kind of green thing going on, and I thought this might be a nice little personal addition. Um, I definitely need to darken, not darken up, but brighten up that white that is his little eye, eye shinies, I guess. Um, but that's my cat. And he actually looks pretty good. I'm not mad about it. I might make a, a set of these and kind of do one for Percy and uh, Nala as well, my dog, um, and kind of, you know, hang them up above the bed. Uh, we used to have something up there, but uh, we did eventually have to take it down and move it elsewhere. So I don't know. I think it turned out really great. And honestly, the project was super easy to do. Um, if you have a good idea of what you're doing, or at least, you know, have a decent uh, concept of how to use some of the digital programs. Um, creating this actually only took about a half hour. It was about 10 minutes to cut everything out on the Cricut and 10 minutes to get it all glued down and you know maybe another five to put it in a frame. So really this is a less than an hour thing, uh, especially since it's so simplified. If you don't have a Cricut, you can still cut this out by hand. Um, it would probably be really irritating and you might want to simplify your shapes a little bit more than I did and try to avoid some of these thinner pieces, but it is possible and I think it turned out really great and I hope that you think so as well. Um, thank you so, so much for watching. If you like what you saw, feel free to like and subscribe. I put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time and I'd love for you to be here for the next one. Thanks again so, so much and I hope to see you then. Bye!